Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. So what's the plan today? Well, I got the, the NCE auto switch. We're gonna install that. And uh, while we're at it, we might as well install the power cab panel. Now, I used to know, own a power cab a while ago and this panel here used to be uh, metal. Now it's the actual fascia panel here is made of plastic, which is a little disappointing. Anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to mount the panel about here somewhere. So what I've done is I've marked halfway here on the frame with some uh, with a pencil, and then I'm just going to create the cutout now. So I have marked out now where I want to cut out for the panel, and I'm just going to get a drill now using an oversized bit, I'm just going to drill out each of the corners here and then we'll work out a way to get the rest out. Alright so the cut now is done, I went around with the drill bit, did the corners and then finished it off with the jigsaw. Now as you can see it is not the prettiest uh, bit of work that I've ever done but and it, I guess it doesn't really matter once the panel goes in and is installed who's going to know. All right, so that is the panel installed. I decided not to use the power drill to put these screws in. I think if you went a little bit too hard on it, you'd probably crack this plastic plate here. So I have flipped the board over and you can see the power cab panel here. This is the plug that comes with it. So I'm simply gonna run a set of wires now from the plug to the back here on the switch. And then the switch is gonna run a set of wires to the bus line and the other set of contacts is going to go to the program track. So when I go to mount the switch onto the underside of the board, what I'm planning to do is use these little plastic spaces and the switch will be mounted off the board and then the screw goes in and it's a nice little neat way to finish it off. So here is the switchboard mounted now, ready to go. All right, so let's move on to that wiring. Okay, so I've got the wire mounted on the end of the power cab panel onto the plug. And I'm simply just going to run it to where I think it should be and give myself a little bit extra just in case and then we'll cut it. So the, I'm using 16 gauge wire for the bus line and I reckon 16 gauge wire is probably about the maximum you're going to get into these, these NCE plugs, they're quite small. Alright then, so the wires now are complete. Now what happened was is when I was trying to push the 16 gauge wire into these these plugs here that are, it's very tight and I had a lot of trouble and I had to actually strip away some of the wire strands to get it in but we got there in the end all right so let's keep moving all right so I finally got the wires in there once again the 16 gauge wire is possibly a little bit too big for these plugs and I've had to trim down the, the strands to get them in all right so my plan now is to take these uh, these wires now and do a direct solder to the main bus line. So the wires now are soldered and ready to go. We'll just put a bit of electrical tape on there to finish it off. Alright so to conclude the video here we got the power cab panel wired into the switch then the switch divides it and it takes it off to the main bus line and then the second set of contacts here will make their way to the program track. Now I'll install those program track wires at a later date. Okay guys, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.